Yes, we are right on the side of the road. Two things I get asked about all the time. Number one, why do I throw my cast net so weird? Number two, are there fish in water features right within cities or on the side of paved roads? The kind of places we don't expect to find lots of animals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I throw my cast net, why it's strange, why it works for some but not for others. And we're gonna answer the question as to whether or not I can use a cast net to catch fish out of a roadside water feature. I have got my trusted four foot cast net. You guys can see that thing. I've had it for ages. It is very small. All right, first we're gonna stick with what we know. I've got the small net here. Let me show you how I throw it so weird. Now, a couple of things are just bad habits I've picked up, but I've made them work. So what I like to do is I like to take the net, I like to grip it around one finger, give myself about eight to 10 inches of a loop, grip it around a second finger, my ring finger. Then I go around the middle finger, same deal. Once more, a fourth time around my index finger. Each of these loops going back up and down around my fingers, eight to 10 inches. Take the rope, coil it on the back side of the net. So you're on the front, I'm on the back, I'm coiling it on my side. There we go. I'm gonna grab the net, you can see here, the guide ring. I'm gonna walk my hand down about eight to 10 inches and pick it up right here and make a triangle. Now this is how I throw it. So guys, we've got a triangle, one, two, three points. The right hand up here is gonna do the swinging. This is just a guide. You're gonna hang on to this for a split second longer before you release the rope. So here we go. Right hand, you're gonna coil back. Right hand does the swing. And you bring it back. And there's our answer to one question. Can you catch fish from the side of the road? The answer is yes. All right, let's put these in the bucket. There we go. Now, all right, let's go again with this net. So let me show you guys from the chest camera perspective what I'm doing. Grab it by the guide ring, hold it out. Get yourself a loop with a small finger. You always gotta make sure your guide ropes, these, uh, these little strands, the guide, the pull lines as I call them, you want to make sure they're on the inside of the net. Sometimes the wind will blow it around. There we go. That's a little bit over a foot, but when I loop it back, that distance right there is the eight inches I was talking about. Same thing. Finally. Okay, so Evil Knievel needs to get his engine checked. One, two, three, four fingers with loops. Grab that line. You guys can see I'm pinching the line in loops between my thumb and the index finger, or sometimes I'll go between the thumb and the meat of my hand. It just depends. The most important thing is you want the rope coiled on your side. I'm gonna reach down here. Again, here's our guide ring right there. I'm going about eight to 10 inches away and I'm just pinching that between my thumb and forefinger. This is a very small net, so I don't need a lot of strength to throw it, so this grip works. There we go, we've got our triangle. So this is one point, that's another point, and down there is a third. My right hand down to the point directly below it is what I'm using to swing the net. That is where the weight is. Imagine you were throwing a rock tied to a rope. That's how I want you to think about this. I've got the rope in this hand, the rock is down there, that's what you're swinging. Make sure everything is aligned. You guys can see the wind blew my coils the wrong way. Got to fix that. All right, here we go. Coil back, twist at the hip. Don't tear your knee. The right hand does the work. That works, 100% that works. Let's put these 
in here. Boom. Lots of, ow. Lots of sharp fins. Lots of good bait, guys. Yeah, that one just jumped right in my hand. Here we go. That's what we're fishing. Oh, that's what we're fishing for. Perfect baits. Absolutely perfect baits. Now, if I was going to fish with these as live baits, um, definitely I would have an aerator. I have more than one aerator. I have functional batteries. The reason I'm not using them right now is because I'm only keeping these alive uh, in the time that it takes me to collect a little bit more bait. And I'm going to be using those somewhere as cut bait. So these things are only being kept alive in this water until maybe an hour from now, maybe less. And I'll quickly dispatch them and use them as cut bait. That's why you don't see an aerator. All right, guys, we are going to try my method on this big net. And I'm willing to bet you it's not gonna work, but we're gonna do everything in our power to be successful. So I'm, I'm going to legitimately try my weird method with this big net, expecting it to uh, go pretty poorly. But we'll see. So I'm gonna use the same method. I'm just gonna loop more, uh, more distance here, longer loops between the fingers. This net is nearly twice the size of the other one. There we go. And it's super heavy. Here's what I'm gonna do differently. And this is an experiment. This could fail horribly. I'm going to take the top of the net and pinch it in my thumb and forefinger, just like the uh, just like the main line. And I'm gonna take a bigger handful. Instead of that little pinch, I'm gonna take a bigger handful here. And we're just gonna see if this works. You know, in, uh, in martial arts, there's an expression, there's no such thing as a wrong technique. There's just stuff that works and there's stuff that doesn't work. Something isn't wrong because it's different. It's wrong because it sucks and it doesn't get you results. So I'm gonna play around with this. Here's my three points. Much more net in my hand. And I'm probably gonna have to throw it a lot harder. This could work, this could fail. Let's find out. Here we go, wind up. Ah! Ah! That was a big triangle. It definitely did not make a circle. I mean, we caught a lot of fish. Look at all these mullet we caught. But again, I think a lot of that, I mean, it's just the odds, you know? Even a sucky throw with a big net, if you even get it partially open, you know, it's likely to catch more fish than the small net that you got all the way open. All right, I think the result is in. My method sucks on big cast nets. All right, guys, because of the title in this video, it's only fair I have an actual shot from the side of the road. I'm sure that's why somebody clicked. So we're going to do our best to make it happen. Ah. All right, let's try that again. My rope is too short, but here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a big, bit of a chance. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna throw the whole thing. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm hoping enough of the guide rope is gonna land on the shore that I can go grab it. All right. This time I'm letting go of the whole thing. Get a little twig out of the net there. That is just gonna jack everything up. There we go. All right, let's go whole throw here. Boom. All right, let's get down there real fast. Grab the end. Ugh. Yeah. accomplished yes you can catch fish with a cast net from the side of the road
Now normally I'm throwing a very small cast net, about four or five feet at the most. And the reason I like these small cast nets is because most of the time I'm catching freshwater bait fish with my net in inner city areas where there's very narrow pockets within concrete channels. I'm not trying to get the net to spread out over a massive area because it would get hung up on all the garbage in Houston's waterways. I like the small net. Now I almost always get a bunch of comments saying how stupid I am. You moron, you could learn how to throw a net the right way on a YouTube tutorial in five minutes. Like, yes, you can. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with the big net. However, my method works perfectly well for that small net. So why do I need to change it just because people don't like the way it looks? Don't forget to like this video, guys, and subscribe to the channel. When you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell That way when I upload a video, you get notified straight away. Keep your eyes out for our next channel coming up, the new one, Wildlife's Outdoor Cooking. It's gonna be all about cooking outdoors. There's gonna be a lot more bushcraft, a lot more catch and cooks. Most of the catch and cooks on this channel are gonna move over there. I'm gonna do some extravagant cooking, but I'm also gonna do a lot of food challenges, eating the kind of stuff that Bear Grylls and Les Stroud would eat. Uh, so fun for you at my expense continued. It's going to be a lot of fun, so be sure to keep your eyes out for that. Help this channel get to 20,000 subscribers. When we hit that number, I've got a massive giveaway that I'm doing. Fluger President Limited Edition Spinning Reel, a combat knife from Cold Steel, tactical backpack and a ton of lures, some fishing line. Somebody is going to win all of that. More is coming, guys. Stay tuned, and until it's here, I will see you guys later.